A parent who's concerned about safety after a bad crash involving students. It happened at this intersection right outside of Doherty High School during the lunch hour. Three people, including two students, critically hurt. It's not the first time there's been an incident in that same area. Maybe you remember last year in March, a 17 year old foreign exchange student was killed in a crosswalk while walking to school very close to the same spot. 11 News anchor Grace Kramer is joining me live from that intersection along Barnes Road tonight. The parent you spoke with Grace says more needs to be done now. Adam, a school zone was added to this intersection last April following the death of that foreign exchange student. However, a parent I spoke with today, Alexander Lathrop, tells me that he still sees drivers speed through this area. This is a horrible intersection. Last year, my wife actually witnessed one student get hit. I see people run this light all the time. This school zone was active when a crash sent three students to the hospital, two with life threatening injuries on Tuesday. It's on Monday through Friday when kids are being dropped off in the morning, at lunch, and when kids are getting out of school. The white car was uh, traveling uh, westbound on uh, Barnes here, attempting to make a turn back into the school after lunch um, when another, the other car I think the truck also came in. While the cause of this crash has not yet been determined, Doherty parent Alexander Lathrop says he knows what needs to be done. We just need to have, you know, more police officers come through with a radar gun. And Caitlin Ford with Springs Police tells me that they do not increase the number of patrols following just one crash. However, they do take the number of crashes at this particular intersection into consideration. The city historically has not had school zones around schools. However, following an evaluation completed by city engineers. There are plans to add more. However, there's no plans in place just yet. The city also tells me that they do need to rebuild the signal at Or Blanco and Barnes right near Doherty. But again, there are no plans in place for that project just yet. If you're learning how to drive. You're not as aware of everything around you. So it's even more dangerous. I've reached out tonight in relation to how those students are doing. No word back yet. And district officials tell me that they will have a care team in school tomorrow for students. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Grace Kramer, KKTV 11 News. Hopefully everybody involved recovers quickly. Grace, thank you.